So Pisces, you do have the magician and you do have the justice. So for some of you, you might be manifesting a Libra. Uh, the magician is the law of attraction, right? And um, this is uh, wanting to make a change in your life, but it's it's magic, right? And we do have the justice. For some of you, you might be manifesting actually some legalities. For some of you, it can be a divorce. Um, it can be a separation. It can be um, papers, administrative papers, whatever you need to, um, whenever, whatever um, uh, contracts you have with your um, soulmate, twin flame, however you relate to this person, the person you are dealing with. Or it can simply be a Libra, like I was saying. Um, and we manifest this person, we want this person in our life. can also be justice and fairness and karma. So for some of you, actually, you long for some karma. Maybe, right? Depending. Oh no, somebody is your soulmate, Pisces. You might have a Libra, your soulmate, Six of Cups with the justice. This is also making things right, making things um, balanced with uh, with a soulmate. Somebody have a really strong bond, right? And a contract. Um, justice is also about contracts and um, soul contracts. So you might have a soulmate with a soul contract plus. So we do have nine of wands. This is the energy of blocking. Um, this is the energy of perseverance also. So somebody is not giving up. But in the same time, somebody is hurt and a little bit in retreat. Eight of Wands and equally passionate. So let's see what this is all about. This is the last shuffle. Now let's cut the cards and see the bottom of the deck for the overall the overall energy for this week, the last week of April. And you know how time is fluid in tarot and we are working with energies. So Pisces, we do have the Queen of Pentacles. We do have the Ten of Swords. And we do have the Judgment. And we do have the Knight of Swords. I don't know who's attacking, uh, Pisces. But we have a lot of swords here. Um, so the overall energy might be a little bit of a betrayal, a little bit of a conflict with this Queen of Pentacles. For some of you, it's, um, you know, maybe the person you are dealing with, they disconnected Queen of Pentacles on. It's also about the energy of nurturing and the energies of um, home um, and family. And it's paired with the Ten of Swords. So that is something around the house, around the home that is hurting. And we also have attacking the Knight of Swords with the Ten of Swords. That is a lot of um, verbal attacks. Um, I hope it's not conjugal violence and stuff like this. And we do have the judgment. So maybe we are waiting on a decision. Maybe that was a decision that was um, made. And um, actually in reaction to it, the other person attacked or quite harsh energies, right? I'm just saying quite harsh energies, Pisces. I hope you're all right. So let's see. Past energies on your side. The person you are dealing with and mutual energies. Current energies on your side, the person you are dealing with and mutual energies. And let's see the possible outcome. On your side, the person you are dealing with and mutual energies. Bottom of the deck, we have the Four of Cups, a missed opportunity. You have twice the Four of Cups. There is something on your mind, Pisces. Probably you beat yourself up over this. We do have twice the four of cups, so somebody needs to hear a message here. I believe there was an opportunity of love. We do have the ace of cups. Somebody um, gave you an offer. Maybe you gave an offer to somebody and it really never took off. We do have twice the four of cups. And you might be beating yourself up over this. And we have yourself, queen of cups. Two of Swords, contemplating, right? Contemplating a choice. And again, that Queen of Pentacles. Can be you if you have Earth in your chart, but you show up here as the Queen of Cups. And you are harsh towards yourself because of this. And you, Five of Wands, right? Internal str struggle. Why in the world have I said no or you are not paying attention, right? That's a Four of Cups. 
and it might have been because of this earth sign kind of energy it's feminine energy it shows up as a feminine energy it can be feminine energy for some of you being in the same sex relationship but can very well be masculine we we all have masculine and feminine in, in us so now Pisces let me see so in the past Pisces we do have the temperance and we do have the death so for some of you, you might be dealing, dealing with a Sagittarius or not. Um, but we do have the energy of endings. We do have the death, can be Scorpio energy. And this combination of, of, um, of energies, Pisces speak of, speaks of um, for your own mind and your own balance, we had to put an end to a situation, right? We do have the death. And we have Ten of Swords and we have the Judgment. So it was a hell of an ending, probably very painful. One that required a lot of conversations with the, um, the Temperance, a lot of compromise, a lot of healing step by step. Um, you know, kind of coming from a place of kindness and trying to, you know, tiptoe a little bit. Um, but in the same time, the end result, right, was one to prevent something. I'm not sure it worked because that's how we get um the overall energy the ten of swords right you tried something you've been very cautious about and um and then the end of the day we do have the death and we do have the judgment so somebody walked away and that was an ending of something now the person you are dealing with they do have the seven of swords so they might have accused you of cheating lying and deceiving and yet somebody was very attached to a firm foundation. Four of Pentacles is the energy of firm foundation, is the energy of holding on to money. And financial benefits is the energy of holding on to the roots that you uh, put down with this person. Holding on to you and holding on to the connection despite this energy of Seven of Swords, probably on their mind. Um, you know, they might um, have decided actually they're going to pursue you. For some of you, this is this person bringing to the table the energy of Seven of Swords, the energy of, again, cheating, lying, and deceiving, and also being very guarded about for some of you. Um, mutual energies between you and this person. Uh, Pisces, we do have Aries, the Emperor, and we have the, uh, uh, the Magician. A lot of masculine energies, by the way, and we have feminine energy. So again, however this resonates, um, might have been somebody else, but honestly, how it feels is uh, both of you manifesting a little bit of control over a situation. It's interesting because we have two different energies. We have one that's very spiritual with the magician, and we have one that's very controlling with the emperor, right? From a place of power, from a place of authority, from a place of my way or the highway. Uh, you know, and very strong masculine energy bringing to the table. And then that is the manifestation energy, the magician energy. One of as above, so below, understanding that that is the bigger plan and understanding also the law of attraction and the, uh, you know, the uh, universal laws and the, uh, the flow. Um, and um, coming from completely different on your side, we have this um, ma these major arcana, right? Guiding you through a major transformation. While this person were, was more focused on uh, the energy of money, of stability, um, hidden things, you know, and, um, and so on and so forth, right? Where are we right now? We do have the sun. Um, this is Leo energy and the five of pentacles. I don't know, you might have um, children with this person. That's the energy of the sun, but also we have the energy of rejection. So happiness is of your concern, but in the same time also this energy of I've been left out in a cold or you left somebody out in a cold. For some of you, honestly, this is the happiness that comes with disconnecting from somebody who betrayed you. Um you know, who um, kind of attacked you in a way that is um, this energy, you know, of imposing some form of behavior on you or imposing some form of control of some sort, limitation of the flow of energies, right? Keeping you in a corner, keeping you like this in the five of pentacles energy. 
and um, and I feel that you're getting your happiness back with the sun. For some of you, you might be worried about kids if you have children with this person. That is a child in the judgment, right? So for some of you, you might have children with this person. And, um, you know, living means also living kids, um, you know, in separated homes and, and stuff like this, you know. So probably this is what's on your mind right now. Sorry, guys, I had to mute the mic again. Um, the energies um, around this person right now, we do have them in a mental prison. Uh, with the Eight of Swords, seeing obstacles, uh, being blindfolded, unable to move, um, bound to you, I would say. But they also have the Chariot energy. This is the energy of success and moving forward. This is the energy of breaking free. This is the energy of moving out also. Um, and that, that is a sense of freedom. So I, I believe somehow, uh, Pisces, that both of you, they are more attached to, um, um, I would say, day-to-day -day things. But that is a longing. It can also be a cancer, bound to you like there is no tomorrow. And they are, no, they are going nowhere. And there is no other life than the life with you. Um, but can also be, if it's not a cancer, it's the energy of somebody really like, um, rushing or longing to uh, to be free you know an energy of freedom can also be an energy but I'm sensing you longing for happiness and um, um, you know a sense of freedom because again we had the Emperor in the past so somebody might have been quite controlling right um, in this connection Pisces mutual energies between the two of you we do have two of pentacles the energy of keeping everything in balance and the four of swords emotional disconnection distance my bubble your bubble my corner your corner um can be something that ended but maybe it's just um you know um kind of a vibe that um that ended um and if it um, didn't end in the past absolutely we are coming to an ending very soon with the ten of swords as the overall energy there is no eleven of swords it's the ultimate end to a situation that it's uh, painful and again four of swords right this is the energy of I need my time my space my bubble do not approach me I'm healing I'm planning I'm strategizing and I'm keeping everything in balance with the two of pentacles and it's both your energy so I kind of feel that you know you are in your corner they are in their corner and um and we are dealing with you know longing for happiness longing for freedom and um and maybe you, because you don't come to the table from the same with the same energy maybe this is why we feel attacked here right with the knight of swords Gemini, Libra, or Aquarius, but the Knight of Swords, I mean, he attacks, and that's it. And the end result is Ten of Swords, right? He attacks, and then there is a world of pain following. Moving forward, we long for somebody, Pisces. We do have the Six of Cups. This is the energy of soulmates and the Six of Wands. Six of Cups is the energy of being reminiscent about the past, going again through all the communications with the other person, remembering the time, remembering the moments of, of, um, um, of your time together with this person, right? The connection, right? The bond of the mind, body, and soul. And we have the Six of Wands. We want to be victorious again. We are persevering this bond. We, we want to have this love, right? And we want to be successful at this bond uh, with this person. And we, then we miss them somewhere and we long for them somewhere. Now, the person you are dealing with, they do have the Justice and the Ace of Swords. This is Libra Energy. And I'm sensing they want to talk to you and make things right. Um, justice is uh, fairness, karma, right? Uh, balancing the scales, finding a solution, making a, an ultimate decision. And the Ace of Swords is the energy of communication, written communication. This right here is signing papers for divorce. 
the by excellence the combination ace of swords is written communications and papers and the justice is the justice so Pisces, I do believe we are heading towards a divorce just by looking at the overall energy. You know, in a normal time, Justice and Ace of Swords is like, let's have a good conversation and let's talk about. But because we have Seven of Swords, Eight of Swords, Ten of Swords, and Knight of Swords, that is a lot of, um, a lot of fighting, um, I would say, to end the situation. And Justice and Judgment, right? Quite an energy of legalities and pieces of paper. Probably it will be over soon. Mutual energies between the two of you, the High Priestess, the, um, um, not the High Priestess, the Hierophant, sorry, Taurus energy and the Three of Pentacles. So what stands between you and this person is actually, right, this commitment, right? One is longing for freedom and happiness and a soulmate bond and one is actually longing to make things right and balance this out and kind of end this. And can very well be your energy, Pisces. Can can very well be your energy. But it's like two people coming from two different um, energies right now. Um, and of course, we have no love, uh, Pisces, right? We have no love. We have six of cups, you longing for something. And they have the sword of justice in their hand. They have the attacking energy, the ten of swords energy that they bring towards you and um final decision so um this might be very well something that's over you know just strong energy of over here so let's ask for some guidance let's see what we need to know we do have you deserve love and you have children so you are lovable Pisces in case you had a moment of doubt and you have your love life is being affected by children I don't see how um, unless one of one of the or whatever somebody doesn't love children and then we need to run the opposite direction right um, but um, I'm just saying right Kind of interesting children that children's are not an, children are not an obstacle right but it's affected in a way that is something about kids and that is a, something about longing here that is um that is in this energy now pisces surrender energies so surrender your desire to control people we started by saying that is a there was a form of control there so being over controlling can sabotage relationships to more effectively achieve your goals back off regroup and give the situation some breathing room so do not control people i mean it serves no purpose honestly because at the end of the day right if somebody wants to cheat on cheat on you they 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 will do it that's it um unless you put a camera like a body camera on people but then Surrender to joy, Pisces, you forgot to be happy. So a key to positive change in your life is to let joy in and savor it. Indulge in random acts of smiling. During both the hard and easy times, keep surrendering to more joy. Let's have another one. And then we're going to have one guardian angel and then we say goodbye. Oh, you have two. Okay, perfect. We do have surrender to success. You are ready to experience abundance. Don't look back at previous roadblocks or difficulties. Leap into an exciting new world of possibilities. And you have... Um, you know what? I believe this connection brings, brings you... I mean, reaps you of your joy. That's exactly how I feel here, right? Because here you feel rejected and longing for happiness with the sun and the truth and, and the joy of everyday life. And you long for somebody but now we do have surrender success it's like you know don't look back look forward and we do have divine timing so sometimes divine timing may differ from your ego's timing if a goal isn't manifesting fast enough according to your ego be patient and trust the universal flow and let's have one guardian angel and then we say goodbye till the next time
you do have new beginnings and you do have the sun again i do believe that is a new beginning a sunny new beginning um showing up places for you you don't have to you only have to not lose hope actually here um, and whatever this is, I believe we need to leave it behind in some way. It might be a commitment with the Hierophant, might be a marriage. Hierophant and justice and judgment, it's like a, uh, you know, somebody like filing for divorce and doing, you know, the papers and or reaching the understanding that, you know what, maybe now it's the time. New beginnings and positive recognition, the, the sun. Um, so you are at the beginning of a wonderful journey. There is no need to have any fear as guardian angels walk beside you every step of the way. You have unique gifts to offer to the world if you'll just free yourself from what um, yourself from that which holds you back. New opportunities will present themselves if you truly believe. So you need to be joyful, right? And you need to believe. Um, you do have the sun again. And it's positive recognition. And it says, congratulations, your plans have worked out perfectly and now it's your time to shine. Brilliant new ideas will present themselves to you and success is all but assured. Express yourself openly and honestly knowing that those surrounding you are trustworthy. Be open to unexpected opportunities. New beginnings and unexpected opportunities. Honestly, Pisces, I believe we need a little bit of courage here. But again, you always have to use your better judgment and you always know better. Um, but I'm sensing something is done, 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 done and over with. And it's time to have like, you know, unexpected. Um, that is an expression in, in French. Um, and it's, I, I know we have like 10% from France, but it's like se laisser surprendre, right? I believe it's um, se laisser surprendre is um, actually the expression of allowing um, oneself to be surprised by life, you know, and look at, um, at life with um, child's eye, right? And um, eyes, right? With enthusiasm and openness and um expecting to find miracles you know and magic um well that's my key you know i'm sharing it with you anyways so laissez surprendre in case you speak french so um pisces this is all that i have for you guys you know i love you right i wish you nothing but the best i wanted to stay strong and safe and um don't forget to like share and subscribe of course and come see me next time Love you. Take care.